Welcome back to our IB Chemistry video series. This is the first video in IB Chemistry Topic 5, Energetics and Thermochemistry, where we will be looking at key definitions and the concept of enthalpy change. Topic 5 and 15 of the IB Chemistry syllabus contain many terms and definitions which come up in exams frequently. Memorising these definitions is important so you can understand the processes involved. In this video, we will work through them. The first three are temperature, heat, and enthalpy. Temperature, denoted by T, is a measure of the average kinetic energy of all particles in an object, measured in Kelvin. Heat, denoted by Q, is the thermal energy transferred from one object to another, naturally flowing from hot objects to cold objects, measured in joules. Enthalpy, denoted by H, it's the internal energy of a particle. However, we commonly focus on enthalpy change, denoted by delta H, measured in kilojoules per mole. It is equal to the quantity of energy transferred during a reaction. It is important to remember that unless otherwise stated, all reactions occur at STP. As a reminder, this is 100 kilopascals and 298 Kelvin. When discussing enthalpy, all reactions can be classified into two groups, endothermic and exothermic. Endothermic reactions are those where energy is transferred from the surroundings to the reaction, i.e. they take in energy. They are therefore associated with positive delta H and a consequent reduction in temperature in the surroundings. The products of these reactions are thus higher in energy and less stable. Exothermic reactions are those where energy is transferred from the reaction to the surroundings, i.e. they give out energy. They are therefore associated with a negative delta H and an increase in temperature in the surroundings. The products of these reactions are thus lower in energy and more stable. For your IB chemistry exam, you are expected to draw enthalpy diagrams to represent both of these types of reaction. Let's look at these now. Draw reaction progress along the x-axis, i.e. time, and enthalpy along the y-axis. Draw a flat line to denote the position of the reactants of the reaction, and a second flat line disconnected to represent the products of the reaction. Remember, an exothermic reaction releases energy, so products will have a lower enthalpy than the reactants, whereas an endothermic reaction takes in energy, so the products will have a higher enthalpy. A curved line then connects the reactants to the products known as the reaction pathway. For IB Chemistry Topic 5, you need to be comfortable labelling the enthalpy change on these diagrams, which is the difference in height between each flat line. We will revisit these diagrams in more depth in IB Chemistry Topic 6, in the context of something known as activation energy. So. The quantity of energy transferred is represented by enthalpy change. But how is this used? Well, different reactions are related to different enthalpy changes. The principal type of enthalpy change is standard enthalpy change of reaction, defined as the enthalpy change when molar amounts of reactants react with one another at STP to give products. For example, CH3COOH plus KCl goes to CH3COOK plus HCl. There are a few additional types of enthalpy change you need to memorise. Standard enthalpy change of formation, the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance forms from its constituent elements in their standard states at STP. For example, carbon, solid, plus oxygen, gas, goes to CO2 gas. Note, carbon, solid, plus oxygen, liquid, goes to CO2 gas, would not work as oxygen's standard state is a gas. This is a common multiple choice question. In addition, remember that enthalpy of formation for any element in its standard state is zero, i.e. one oxygen atom plus another oxygen atom going to oxygen gas is zero. Standard enthalpy change of combustion, the enthalpy change when one mole of a substance completely burns in oxygen at STP, for example, CH4 plus 2O2 goes to CO2 plus 2H2O, and standard enthalpy change of neutralisation, 
The enthalpy change when one mole of water is produced when an acid reacts with an alkali at STP, e.g. NaOH plus HCl goes to NaCl plus H2O. For those of you studying IB chemistry higher level, an additional six definitions will be introduced in our topic 15 video series. No matter your course, you need to know how to calculate each of these types of enthalpy change using values provided to you or from the relevant tables in the data booklet. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.